We had the pleasure of watching this buck grow up and turn into a great deer. And in 2021, Rochelle was headed into hunt. And on just day four, she had her chance. And much to our surprise, she decided to pass and roll the dice to see if the deer would survive just one more year. He survived hunting season. We were able to get one of his sheds and then in 2022, we knew right where to find him if he'd survived the winter. He had survived and was tremendous. And Rochelle was headed back into hunt. Rochelle was seeing deer, seeing bucks, but just not the right one. However, with the whole season ahead of us, there was still plenty of hope. It's uh, September 19th today. Um, last time we got to sit in this blind, it was September 9th, so that was 10 long days ago. We've been keeping an eye on the camera. He's now in Hardhorn, and uh, he uh, still looks pretty juicy, so hopefully uh, we have good luck tonight. Yes. Yes? <laughs> I agree. Sure like to get to look at him anyways. Yes. Tonight, after a long break, the deer are starting to move well as some rain starts to set in. It's sometimes when it's least expected that things happen. And as the rain starts to set in and become heavier, Rochelle and Steve watch moving to the west. And there steps out the big five. Even more massive and impressive than expected, the dark antlered brute is making his way fast. These are the kind of encounters, an encounter with an incredible deer like this, that are what makes every hour on stand instantly worth it, whether it took days or years. A year and 10 days since her last encounter with the buck in nearly the exact same spot, though this time she has no intentions of passing. sitting there and, and uh, uh, it was just pouring rain and then the uh, and all of a sudden I seen a buck coming and I said to you a buck coming snuck in on me because I was too busy watching the other two yeah and, and so I, I turned the tactic cam on and the camera on and all of a sudden as soon as I he stepped into my view I just went whoa rope that's him <laughs> here he comes he is awesome and you couldn't you couldn't mistake them chocolate dark horns like no. that was and like the mass on them is the mass is crazy. crazy I can't believe it He's cool. He's got one little. Oh, drop right time. Here, starting. Yeah. Nice. He just strolled right in. And oh, I could, perfect. Yeah, he, he just strolled <laughs> right in. And then, and then it was crazy how he heard that little, even in the rain, he heard that little click of you turning the crossbow off onto fire. And he lifted his head and looked. And then, and well, of course, well, you drilled him. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you drilled him. I feel a little bit left out. <laughs> and, uh,. It always hurts my feelings a little bit when they kill a great big one and I wasn't there, but uh, yeah. we got a couple young kids that are pretty busy and uh, it's a good testament what uh, good buddies like Steve will do. So uh, I had one at hockey tonight. Taylor, or Rochelle still wanted to hunt and Stevie said, let's go. But a year and 10 days ago, I think it was September 5th or 6th or something like that, she passed this deer up and he was big. Yeah. A lot of people were kind of questioned her for passing him up last year and he, he could have not made it. He could have got shot this year by somebody else, but every now and then it works out and uh, 
Boy, it worked out for her tonight, didn't it? And we said that if he makes her, he's going to be a, a, a stunning deer. And wow, this year he's a cranker. He's awesome this year. 